Coal miners in Pike County are in their second day of protesting against their employer, Quest Energy, near Kemper. The miners claim the company has not paid them in weeks and is continuing to put off paying them. In protest, the miners have taken a page out of the Black Jewel protest playbook and have blocked a loaded coal train from leaving the mine. I spent some time at the site of the protest and spoke to some of the miners. On Monday, Quest Energy miners blocked a 120 car CSX coal train from leaving the company's operation at Kemper. The men claim they haven't been paid since December 27th and are due nearly three weeks pay. They say they will not leave the tracks until they are paid. I told them my power is getting ready to get cut off. I need $207. I said, you know, I need my money. I can't, it can't wait till uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I've been waiting for three weeks for it now. And all I could say was, well, I'm sorry, we don't know what to do, you know. And I'm like, well, yeah, you can pay me what you owe me. So we're not gonna leave till we get paid in full. The longest we've went without a payday is two weeks. Uh, but they always did pay us. We're all out to slander them or their name or, or nothing. We just want our money. How much is it going to take to get you off these tracks? All my money. How much is that? Uh, three weeks worth. Right now my my youngest toads in cheerleading. It, it's hard to get them back and forwards and to their games and everything. I, I mean I got to keep borrowing money to do it. My oldest toad, they're wanting stuff. Uh, I can't, I can't even put insurance on my daughter's car that I just bought her for her 16th birthday so she can drive because no money coming in. Stick us out long as I can. I just wish they'd pay us, and I'm pretty sure all the other uh, miners wish that they'd get paid. As long as that train sits there, that's $10,000 a day. So, I mean, it's uh, we can play this game as long as they can. The protest is the second in six months in eastern Kentucky where miners have blocked a train from leaving a mine. The previous? The Black Jewel Mining protest in Harlan County that went on for more than three months. Like the Black Jewel protest, the Quest miners let CSX take its locomotives from the area on the condition they leave their train loaded with 12,000 tons of metallurgical coal at the mine. Engineers and CSX people asked us if we was going to, you know, Hold, a, hold, hold the train up. And we said, yeah, you know, they got our coal on there and they've not paid us. And they said, well, do you just care if we unhook our engines? We said, no, you can take your engines. We said, but I reckon 20 cars belong to Billy Smith. We told them they could take those, if, you know, if they want to take those with them engines. And they said, no, that them cars was already hooked to that unit and it was one unit and they was not going to fool with it that they told us that they would not pull them cars out of, out of there until we was gone. Quest parent company American Resources Corporation disputes the claims about the back pay. In a statement, the company acknowledged that there is an issue resulting in late payments, but those payments as of Monday night were between one and eight days, not the three weeks the miners claim. We ain't, you know, I mean, we ain't out here for for fun or for uh, to be on TV or nothing like that. We're here to get our paydays. On Tuesday, the miners began seeing blips on their mobile payroll app. Adam Jensen, an executive with American Resources, said he anticipated the miners being fully paid by Tuesday evening, or at the latest, Wednesday. We, we, we've submitted the payroll already through Paycheck. That's our payroll provider. They have told us they are going to do everything in their power to get the employees uh, same-day ACH today. Worst-case scenario, it would be tomorrow morning. Jensen also said the miners protesting against Quest will not have to worry about losing their jobs over the action they've taken in blocking the train. We, we, we apologize for being late on the pay, and, uh, you know, there will be no recourse taken. It's like, if, for the ones that were just out there, um, protesting, blocking a train, there, there will be no repercussions. Now once all this is over with, do you, do you plan on going back to work for them? Or? No, not for them. The miners tell me that the back pay situation which sparked this protest affects around 50 miners. 
it's still unclear where the loaded coal train is destined and whether Quest has already been paid for it.